welcome back to Murphy's Diesel, folks. We got ourselves a little light duty recovery. And normally I don't put light duty recoveries on here, unless it's like an off-road recovery, but I was walking by and I heard dispatch talking and I heard Ferrari. So James was standing there as well and James is he also heard Ferrari so that's why me and James are doing a light duty recovery today so stand by because it might get exotic high pollutant recovery you heard it folks straight from the horse's mouth a high pollutant recovery we're not sure what kind of Ferrari it is Hold on, I gotta take this, it's the governor. You think it's it? It said two blowouts, I'm probably a $300,000 vehicle. You think it's interesting that cars have to be roadworthy, but roads don't have to be car worthy? Yeah, in Arizona, roads don't have to be car worthy. Yeah, it's got two blown out tires, it's in the median. We're gonna go check it out. It's a 2022. Stand by for some exotic recoveries. Alright, so we got the front tires on the bed. Took some doing. You know, this thing's pretty low to the ground. We got it raised up in the front. It's got a button to actually raise the suspension up. So that's pretty cool. Got the front wheels on the on the bed. So now we're gonna put the eye in the front bumper and winch it up the rest of the way. So stand by. Going 
Should I be wearing my mittens? <laughs> Your Ferrari gloves? Yeah, I should be wearing my mittens for sure. this bad Larry up on the deck and we didn't scratch a corner on this bad Jackson so took some doing to get it up there I think we probably should have brought the 1075 out and just picked it up and set it on the bed but apparently that's frowned upon on a light duty this guy was in the median he said he was doing well, I'm not gonna say how fast he's going. He said he's going really fast. And he hit a pothole. Lost both wheels. Uh, well, tires. Not sure why he took her into the median, but you'd have to ask him. But anyway, so this thing's going down to Scottsdale. That's pretty much it. Pretty uneventful. Most light duty uh, recovery slash toes are, I wouldn't really call it a recovery, but. Completely, a complete disregard for yellow lights. See the red and blues they'd be getting over, but. Just don't take the yellow light serious. James is getting her all strapped down, hot rods, picking everything up, and we're gonna be heading back to the yard. James will be heading to Scottsdale. Pretty nice little time. Not real exciting. I'd take a big truck rack over this any day tell you the truth it's the first light duty tow I've been on in a really long time anyway this is, my is this my new company car hot rods new company rig Ain't a whole lot of clearance under these. It's kind of hard to get onto a deck, flatbed. Especially when they got flat tires. Got her strapped down. We are eastbound. Headed back to the yard. So stand by. All right, so we got this bad Jackson back to the yard here in Ashford. James is going to take it on to Scottsdale Ferrari. 
and take it down there and get them a couple new wheels and tires and yeah we got this bad jackson loaded up we didn't scratch a corner on this bad larry have you ever loaded a ferrari before james first ferrari definitely yeah james did a hell of a job i did a hell of a job hot rod did a hell of a job everybody did a hell of a job so as long as he does a hell of a job getting it off then <laughs> we'll be in the home stretch so might be a little difficult getting it off you might want to take some extra blocks some extra cribbing with you so how was the overall loading of the ferrari how'd you feel that went um i feel like they make better equipment for doing it like a 1075 rotator yeah <laughs> no, we should have rolled the 1075 out there and just picked it up and loaded it on there it probably would have been less time yeah honestly i probably could uh to rig each wheel and pick it up mm -hmm. yeah as long as you keep the straps though my my concern though would have been the straps going against the fiberglass now you can put some blocking right there so if you ever load a ferrari be sure and use a 1075 you know instead of just using a flatbed roll your 1075 to, to load a ferrari that's that's the record rick tip of the day so tip of the day. you stay classy ferrari that blew two tires hitting a pothole at 100 and some odd miles an hour 84 to be exact 84 miles per hour to be exact. 84 miles per hour. Oh. You stay classy, Ferrari that blew two tires and damaged one wheel after hitting a pothole at 184 miles per hour. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm just fooling about. I don't know if he was doing 184 miles an hour. He said he was going really fast, though. So, but you take care. <laughs>